In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to develop a package in Julia like a boss. This package can be anything like a scientific computing related package or whatever related to software development. Not only I show you a practical way to develop a package in Julia, but also I talk about continuous integration and testing. Specifically, I cover the GitHub actions and code coverage. You can pretty much ignore that and just focus on the package development part. First of all, you have to sign up on the CodeCov website. I put the link down in the description of the video. You have to sign up and sign into with GitHub. You may need to provide permissions for CodeCov to access GitHub. After you sign into the GitHub, you have to set up your repository. I will show that later in the video. Next, open up your VS Code in a directory that you want to put your package into. Open up your terminal on Linux or your command prompt on Windows and type Julia. Hit the right square bracket and go into the package mode and type add pkg templates space revise. Make sure you add these packages in the global environment of the Julia. By the way, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on Julia programming. After the installation has finished, hit the backspace to go into the repo, load the pkg templates package inside the repo with the help of using keyboard. Then we call the template function and pass the required arguments for our package to it. I put this chunk of code in the video description so you can copy and paste it. Don't forget to pass the correct Julia version and your GitHub username to the template function. After defining the variable t, now we can pass the name of our package to it. A directory with the name of our package will be created in the current directory. Now we change our directory to the package directory and open up the VS Code in the package directory. Now it's time to go into your GitHub account and create a repository with the name of your package that you've already specified ending with .jl. Leave the boxes related to readme.md, license and .git ignore unchecked, since these are handled by pkg templates package. I assume that you have properly set up your GitHub account on your computer, I mean you have set your username and password, and just commit the package files and push them to GitHub. Here you see the GitHub repository after pushing the files to GitHub. You see two badges, one of them is related to continuous integration and the other one to the code coverage. Now I show you how to add your current package that you have already created to the global environment of Julia, so you can use the using keyword and load the package inside Julia REPL or any other project on your computer. Basically you open up the Julia REPL and go into the package mode and type activate to actually activate the global environment. You can use the sd command to see the current install packages in your global environment. Then type dev. to add the current package to the global environment. Make sure that you have already set up the revise package. For configuring the revise package for both Windows and Linux operating systems, you can check the revise documentation. Make sure that you have copied the code specified in the revise documentation and pasted it in the startup.jl file. Now let's take a look at the files created by the pkg templates package. In the src directory there is a file with the same name as your package name. You put your package code inside this file. In the tests directory there is a file named runtests.jl. You put your unit integration and regression tests for your project inside this file. Manifest.toml and project.toml files contain the dependencies of your project. Specifically, the project.toml file contains a list of dependencies and the manifest.toml specifies their exact versions and subdependencies. In the .github folder and going into the workflows directory, you'll see a ci.yaml file which contains the information for the continuous integration and GitHub actions. We will modify this file later for configuring the code coverage. To develop a package, I go inside the src directory and open up the myproject.jl file. Inside this file, I write my package code. For example, I write a function named operate on xy. I set default values for xy and return the multiplication of x and y. Now I open up my repo and check whether I'm inside the global environment and use the using keyword to load the package inside the global environment in the Julia repo. After calling the operate on x5 function with the default arguments, I get the 2 as a result, since I have set x to 1 and y to 2. Now I add an extra line to the operate on xy function, for example print line and some string, and call the operate on xy function again to see whether the function gets pre-compiled and changed on the fly by the revise package. 
If I hadn't installed the revised package, I had to select the new definition of the function again and hit the shift enter to actually run the function definition in the repo then call the operate on x5 function. Also note that the revised package only detects changes made inside the myproject.jl file which is in the src directory and the revised package does not actually detect any changes made in the tests directory. Now we can load the test package by using the using keyword and after that use the add test macro and check whether the result returned by the operate on x5 function is equal to 2. As you can see the test has passed but if I change the expected result to some value other than 2 for example 3 we see that test fail. Now we go inside the run tests.jl file. We can put the code that we have already run in the repo inside the run tests.jl file. Note that you have to load your package and the test package inside the run tests.jl file by selecting those using keywords and hitting the shift enter. You can also run the whole test set inside the Julia repo by going inside the package mode and typing test. But if you are not in the package environment but the global environment you can go inside the package mode and type test your package name or test my project over here. Now we commit the changes that we have already made to our package and push them to github. After pushing the code you'll notice that the commit is now on the server but also that a small orange circle is next to the commit. This shows that a github action is executing based on that push to the main branch. You can see these actions in progress on the actions tab where the action may be complete by the time you open it. If you further click on one of the jobs and select the Julia run test you can see the output on the server. It ran your test suite on its isolated environment and is showing a check mark because the tests passed. As you can see the CI badge or continuous integration badge on the github page is showing passing but the code coverage is not yet active. Since we have set up our repository for our package we will set up the repository in the code coverage website. As a result of setting up our repository, we will be given a code coverage token. We also have to copy and paste a chunk of YAML script inside the ci.yaml file that our package already contains. First of all, we will click on the repository secret link and we will be redirected to our GitHub page to create a repository secret. Over here we paste the code coverage token that is given to us by the CodeCov website. Now we copy this chunk of code inside the ci.yaml file. Finally we push the changes that we have made to the github. On the github page as you can see the code coverage badge is active and 100%. And 100% because we had one function and one test for that function so our test covers the functionality of our package. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel since I constantly make Julia programming tutorials. And if you are a beginner, I've got a Julia programming for beginners playlist. So don't forget to subscribe to not lose this content.